What will you do if your boyfriend suddenly announced that he's getting married but with someone else? This is Days at Morisaki Bookshop by Satoshi Yakisawa. So the story opens with our main lead, Takako, who was spending time with her boyfriend when suddenly he announced that he's getting married. Not to her, but to someone she knows at work. This revelation shook Takako so much, she didn't react out of line. She was just busy wondering how she could have dated someone for a year without knowing that they were already in a relationship with someone else. Having trouble expressing her feelings, Takako finds herself stressed at work. So she decides to quit her job, leaving all her unsaid heartbreak behind. Now she starts to devour sleep. Her unemployed news invited her long-lost relative, once her favorite uncle, Satoru, who then offered her to help at his second-hand bookshop for a free rent. Holding on to her pride and not wanting to return home after having gone through so much to work in the city, Takako decided to seek peace in Jinbocho, Tokyo's famous used bookstore district. When Takako arrived at her uncle's bookstore, things were not as she imagined they would be. Everywhere there's this musty smell, old books stacked in every corner, everything is damp. To add more, her relationship with her uncle was not that great. Especially when she grew up, she just suddenly felt her uncle is weird and stayed away from him. So, days forward, we get to see the interaction of the lonely uncle whose wife has been gone with the wind and a heartbroken sleepy niece managing Morisaki Bookshop. In the beginning of her stay, Takako's life felt lifeless. All she does after work was sleep. Her uncle even had to bet to get her out. One day, her uncle took her to visit a nearby coffee shop where she finally felt inspired. And that was the night where, in her room, she touched the first book that made her fall in love with reading. From there, her day started to improve. She managed to store more cheerfully, formed new friendships, and became close again with her uncle, thinking that she had healed until her ex contacted her again to meet up. That's when Takako was haunted by her past once again. That's when she realized she's been running away from facing her real problem. However, thanks to her uncle, they had a conversation. They had a really dramatic resolution towards Takako's ex-behavior. This includes a visit to her ex's house in the middle of the night, rain and just crying and shouting about feelings. But. Takako managed to confront her fears and gain closure. Now, the book gets interesting because it was divided into two parts. As soon as Takako is done with her personal issues, in the second part of the book, this time, Takako owed it to her uncle to help as his wife, missing for five years without a trace, suddenly appeared in front of the bookstore again. In part 2, we will get to know more about Satoru's wife, Momoko, through her efforts to bond with Takako. Because in this timeline, Takako has already moved out of Morisaki Bookshop and worked in another place. She had to go back and forth, also on a secret mission to help her uncle's request. On why Momoko came back. We will then find out the whole big reason Momoko left through a short girl's trip they made. And again, Momoko and Satoru will be faced with a challenge to talk about their issue and solve it together. At the end of the story, finally, we will get to see our main lead deserving her own new slow-paced burning moments. And the end!